now we want to go ahead and take a look at one of these and what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So let's take a look. So here we're talking about the cell interior. So this bottom portion right here, this bottom portion right here, this is inside the cell. So inside the cell, uh, inside the cell membrane, cell interior, cell exterior, you have these lipids, okay, these long carbon chains, these are fats, these lipids that are inside the cell membrane. Now notice these are attached to sugar units. These are attached to sugar units. And of course on the number six carbon, it looks like of one of these, that through an O-glycosidic bond is attached to several other sugars. So this is going to be outside the cell. This part is the core oligosaccharide. So this part is always the same. This particular arrangement, KDD, KDD, KDO, I'm sorry, yeah, KDO, HEP, HEP, uh, GLC, GAL, GAL, GLC, NGC, these this particular arrangement of oligosaccharide, this oligosaccharide right here, is always going to be the same. Don't worry, these are just different monomers, KDO, KDD, HEP. These are just different types of sugars with different things attached to them. What is different from bacteria to bacteria or at different places along the bacteria is this thing right here. So this is the thing that changes. So this is the same, this is the same, but this is the thing that changes. And depending on what this is, what collection of monomers and what glycosidic bonds are actually connecting them, that's going to be the point of recognition. We call this the O antigen. This is what your immune cells recognize when they run across the bacteria in your body. That's what they attach to in order to do what the immune cells do, which is destroy these things or whatever it else they you know, plan on doing to it. So that's it. This is just an example of a lipopolysaccharide. It is a glycolipid. It has a lipid core that's in the membrane. In this particular case, it has a certain set of a certain portion of it contains an oligosaccharide, which is invariant. And then, of course, at the end, it's, it is variant. Different things happen up here. This is going to be the same. This whole thing is the oligosaccharide portion plus these two, and this is the lipid portion. That's it. We just wanted you to get an idea of what something uh, like this can actually look like. Okay. Thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.